is the first powerful lithium addition javelin to send out of Spark. We're really, really excited about this collaboration with powerful lithium. And so let's get into it. So the powerful lithium addition version of the javelin comes with an eight kilowatt motor. That is eight kilowatt nominal. All right, so that thing is actually peaking up more like 16, 17,000 watts. And it's really, really special because it is a 3T winding. For those of you who don't know about these hub motors, there are different windings and they can all have the same power output. So it's all an eight kilowatt nominal or the other bike is, you know, a four kilowatt nominal, but they have different, let's just say gear ratios. It's not really a gear. There's no gears on the inside, but it's very, very similar. Um, a 3T winding is designed for high speed riding and lower torque. Uh, a 4T winding like we use on the normal Javelin is a middle range. So it's like a blend of speed and torque. And then a 5T is all torque. Well, this thing hits really, really high speeds. So it already has a ton of torque. So even though it's a lower torque version of it, it's still a lot of torque. Um, and this allows it to run really, really efficiently at higher top speeds and it keeps that motor cool. If I open the bike up, we are gonna get access to this powerful lithium battery. Um, that is a 59 amp hour battery using Molly cells. Um, but that combination of that 59 amp hour battery plus this crazy motor makes this thing an absolute beast. And to handle all that extra power is an extended swing arm. So this bike looks a little bit different than the normal Javelin because that swing arm is longer by about four inches. So you can notice when you when you look at the bike, normally the axle is about in line with the tail of the bike. This one, it uh, goes back quite a bit farther to handle all that higher top speed. This one's also very special because the guy's taller. And so we put on taller rear shocks. Those are about 13 and a half inches, which are also making the bike look a little bit different than normal, a little bit taller in the back. Um, you know, he's a little over six foot and he wanted to have a, a more comfortable ride. So we pop those on there, changes the geometry a little bit, um, but overall it's just fine. Looking from the rear of the bike, you can see we're using this really, really nice Michelin tire rated for high, high top speeds. Our little fairing in the back with that javelin cut out. And then we go up to a locking seat. We've got some really, really nice mirrors now that are fully adjustable. The action button on your right hand side that allows you to change from the street mode to your private property mode. Uh, your twist throttle and your entire lighting control with your horn. This one's pretty cool because it's using a, a very unique headlight. Uh, this one's not on our website. This was sourced from speedmoto.com. Uh, we work with those guys on getting our hooligan headlights and a few other things. And besides that, the big striking thing is this orange color. Um, it's called Striker Orange. And in person, it is really, really, really bright. Oranges are kind of difficult to do because you kind of have the ability to look like macaroni and cheese or look like a street sign or all these other things. And finding a, a really good orange is difficult. And this is a really, really good orange. Um, it's almost fluorescent in person. So it's hard to explain as always through these videos, but when you see it in person, I would say if I was to pick out any orange, it would probably be this one. Let's go take it for a little ride. I'm not gonna go crazy on it. Um, customer's coming to pick this one up locally. Um, he's coming very soon, actually, today. And I'm just gonna do a little, little quick run here. We do have our three speed modes set up on this bike. So if, uh, you know, if it's a little intimidating to consider uh, a bike of this power, just realize we do have this button. And when you put it into speed mode one, that puts it in our standard moped mode, right? So that is fully 100% legal to ride as a motor driven cycle in the country. It's a federal regulation. Uh, states are all a little different. So you do have to check what your state says, but we are following federal guidelines. And as of right now, Connecticut's new guidelines match those federal guidelines. Um, places like California are a little bit different right now, but every bike does come with VINs and MCO and all that other kind of good stuff. So you will be safe there and we will help you if you kind of get lost during that process. So you got your moped mode there. And then if I bump it up to two, uh, that's kind of like a, a middle power band. So we kind of made that one. So you have something that's ideal for 45 mile per hour roads. Um, so that one can do about 45, maybe a little bit above that and run very efficiently. It's how I like to ride this bike, to be honest with you. And then obviously, if you really want to pump it up, you need to get out of a dangerous spot or you're just on your own property or you're on a track, you can pump it up to three and then you got your full power, which is a lot. <laughs> 
but I'm just taking it easy. One thing to watch out for at this time of the year is uh, all this tar they put on these uh, cracks. So you see all these cracks. So it's 95 degrees out right now. It's extremely hot. And when you run over these little lines, they move. You feel your, your tires moving on them. And it's a little bit freaky. Um, and so you really, really, really gotta be careful on those lines, guys. Because if it's hot enough, you know, they'll just kind of give. And, uh, and it's like riding in mud. You can hear that motor whine. It sounds like a jet engine. And I'm only going about 35 right now. All right, so that is this bike, guys. Uh, we're really, really excited to be sending this one out. And it's also a local guy, which is also very cool. Um, if you're interested in an eight kilowatt Javelin, you can order them from our website right now. Again, those are bumping up to about 16, 17,000 watts on their peak. They all come with a battery made in New Jersey and a motor that is designed by Powerful Lithium for that 3T winding for really, really high speed riding and very stable riding. But not everybody needs a crazy bike like this. Uh, we do offer our standard Javelin, which is now running about a 5,000 watt motor and it's peaking up to about 10,000 watts. And while that is a lot of power, uh, just keep in mind the bike is a little heavier and it rides more like a motorcycle. So it's riding more like a 250cc uh, motorcycle if you've ever ridden anything like that. Um, they're all built here in Connecticut. And if you want to learn more, go to sparkcycleworks.com. All right.